Now, when looking at the world today, there is little doubt that what is required to change it is an evolution of spirit, a change in the general outlook of humankind. Well, I suppose I should say the inlook as well as the outlook, because that's really what a change of spirit is, isn't it? It's looking within and changing your perspective about how the world should operate and changing your perspective of what your relationship with the world is, what your relationship to reality is and how you look at the world. Most people, whether they know it or not, actually have a very narrow perspective because they're only really taking into account that which affects them personally. But if you really step back and you look at the world holistically, you begin to see that one of the big problems that we face is in fact the narrow view that most people have and that most people adhere to. And this is not to say anything against such people, this is simply the way people have been trained to operate because they're always kept in a state of scarcity and so they tend to only pay attention to that which affects them personally rather than taking a wider view of things simply because they never really have the time to do so. They're always kept on the treadmill, they're always kept running after paper and looking after their family and making sure that everything's okay in their personal life and so they just don't have time to look around them and to really look at the bigger picture. And many people want change but they're unaware how to really bring about that change because very often they fail to see that that change must come from within. It must start with a change of spirit. It isn't just about changing the political system and putting in a new party or a new government because if we don't change our spirit and change the perspective of how we view things, then all we will do is end up constructing a system which has all of the traits of the old system which made the old system so dysfunctional. So essentially, if we want to bring about any real change, we have to do it from the ground up. And we have to look at things in a completely different way to the manner in which we currently view them. But folks, being aware of all of these things is 80% of the battle. It really is. And when you are aware of all these things, you start to change the way that you live your life. And you start to lead by example in the things that you do. And this is one of the major things that wakes up the people around you. I mean, you can scream fear, paranoia all you like. But unless they can see something in your life that they are attracted to, and something that they wish to emulate, then they're not really going to listen to you. So you have to demonstrate how much this knowledge has empowered you, how much you've been able to change your life because you have the information that you are attempting to bring to them. They need to see how much of a difference it's made in you and they need to see something positive from it because if you just go and scream fear at people then then they're just going to see you as a paranoid person and they're not going to want to get involved with any of the information. They're not going to want to have any deeper understanding of reality because they're not going to see it as anything beneficial to themselves. Unfortunately, people are taught to think that way. See, they've been so brutalised and so disconnected by this society that they're only looking for things which will alleviate the subliminal pain that they all feel. You're only looking at things that will affect their own lives in a positive way. Anything else, no, don't want to know about it. Too busy trying to figure my own life out. Thank you very much. And that's the way people act because that's the way people are trained to act because that's the way people have been trained to be and taught to be. I mean, human consciousness has been shattered and brutalized and fractured and told up is down and black is white and left is right and good is bad for so long that most people really don't know what's going on at all. And so you really can't be too hard on people and you can't really be too hard on society for being in the state that it's in because people can only ever fix a problem if they know that a problem exists and if they're trained to always laugh at a problem and they're programmed not to see it, well, you can't blame them if their reaction is a little negative. And that's why very often it's no good trying to even tell the problems to people. The best thing you can do is to lead by example in all that you do. And the only way you can really do that 
is if you have an understanding of what's going on. Thank you.